10 years old, had a wall full of goals. Pain in my heart with a mouth full of flows. Knew he was like YouTube, what's happening? It's your boy, your maestro, man, checking in with another one. This weekend was crazy, and it gave me the idea to do this video. Uh, just because, you know what I'm saying, this weekend was a, a very high success for my astrology. It was Hip Hop Week in Chattanooga. I set up a vendor twice. Um, the one I really want to talk about is the Dame Dash um, Summit. He came and he, he talked and, and dropped some gems on everybody about business, health, and just life in general. So that being said, I'm going to go over some of the things that I use when I do pop-up shops or if I'm a vendor and uh, it might inspire some ideas in you. You know what I'm saying? This video is brought to you by MyAstrology.com. If you haven't been by there yet, make sure you come on by and check us out. Come shop with us, but if anything, make sure you subscribe. After you scroll down on the main page, give me your name and your email, so let's go. All right, number one, we'll go over the basics. Like this is some stuff like you absolutely, there's no doubt about it, like you gotta have, you know what I'm saying? Um, or make sure that the venue has in some cases. So, number one, start out with a table. Um, obviously, you can't display anything if you don't have a table. You know what I'm saying? If you're selling clothes, then you know what I'm saying? You need a table for many reasons. Make sure you have a clothes rack so you can hang your stuff on, people can look through, um, stuff like that. Now, for your table, make sure you have some type of um, tablecloth or something. To just, you want it to be... Um, visually pleasing you know what i'm saying they'll make people shop with you more you know what i'm saying but like those three things off wham you got to have now moving on from that i always bring my ipad and i set my ipad up on the table with um the uh, website on there so people can scroll through because obviously if you if you are a store that has a lot of stock or has a lot of options you're probably not going to be able to bring everything everywhere you go you may but a lot of times you're not just gives people the chance to scroll through and if not they can subscribe to your website so that's a, a potential customer even moving forward you know what i'm saying um so i have that on there um now another way too that i i've realized people um they need to familiarize themselves with you a little bit and like it's not the case every time because we sold some hoodies this weekend we sold I mean, like, we made like a $70 sale just like that that weekend. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's not like that. And you want to convert as many customers as you possibly can. So what I did was I designed a raffle. Um, so instead of just making them drop, you know what I'm saying, 70 on me or possibly never hearing from them again, I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. Just shoot me 5 10 uh, to $20. And I'm going to put you in this raffle. And you know what I'm saying? If you win, you win three hoodies, but you get to pick out of five. You know what I'm saying? So... People are mad, like, boom, all right, cool, $5, $10, $20, I'll go ahead and drop that. So now you just made them a customer that wasn't going to be a customer, but you got in your bag, you thought outside, you know what I'm saying, you made sure you got them. But on top of that, you got their email. So now they're familiarizing themselves, you might be able to capture them, you know what I'm saying? You're bettering your odds to, you know what I'm saying, make sales or whatnot. Um, all right, moving forward, if you're outside, um, you're probably gonna have a tent um, my friend, you're not probably going to. You need a tent. You need a tent if you're going to be doing uh, like vendor shows or anything like that outside because sun shining down, like if you have your computer, or your iPad, people aren't going to be able to see that much. Um, if they are shopping, people don't want to, like, you know what I'm saying, just be hot. You know what I mean? If it is like a, a hot outside. So make sure you do have a tent of, uh, of some sort. Now, moving on. Um, I always like to have something unique every time that uh, I do an event. Like if I'm outside and it's kind of spacious, I'll bring like a speaker, play some music, you know what I'm saying? Inter interacting with people. Because even regardless of what you have, if you have nice clothes, you still have to sell them. You know what I'm saying? Like your personality, meeting people, learning their stories, see how your brand can encompass with what they've been through in their life and stuff like that it's important but on top of that a little secret you know what i'm saying because i love psychology i always like to um have like a something that draws people to your tables i bought this off of amazon for um the i think it's called a turntable literally um i think it was like 15 bucks literally this weekend every time i put a hat on that turntable five ten minutes 
20 minutes top, someone came and bought that hat. I'd had that same exact hat sitting next to it on the side, but they want that hat on the turntable. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. You know what I'm saying? It, it was different and it intrigued people. 15 extra dollars you could spend that could make you an extra 100, 200 thousand. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like if you're outside, you have like a speaker, draw people in with that. Um, now, past all the setting up part, and all that, you know, and I seen a, a few vendors this weekend too that that uh, struck some ideas in, uh, for me too. Like Dead Panda, shout out to J Flo. He had a banner. I'm gonna end up getting a banner too, just because I like the way it looked. But moving on past that, let's say you get a sale. What else do you need when you get a sale? I'm gonna grab one of these. I make sure I got it. Cause I I, I packaged some of these, so I wanna make sure I got everything in here. All right, boom. For example. All everything will be packaged up in here. If not, I'll have the bags with me and they'll be hung up. You know what I'm saying? So someone buys something, like, hey, do you got a size? Da, da, da. I'll pull it out. This makes it seem like you take care of your products. And you shouldn't seem like you take care of your products if you really do. But like I said, it's the appeal as well. So I have um, gift bags. I don't know where my gift bags are at the moment, but I can get like gift bags for a dollar to five dollars. You know what I'm saying? I pack of them. You know what I'm saying? But then top of this, I got the, the plastic I ordered off Amazon. So they get home. They can pull their shirt out, right? So the shirt will be in here. We got the shirt out. But more important than that, my tag. I got my tag with my logo on it. Of course, you need that. But on the back, I have a QR code with my website right below it. So if they wanna go and shop for more, if they haven't bought there yet, they know how to get back in touch with me. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, also in there with the shirt, we have the have like recommend uh, recommended wash instructions. Um, like again, showing that you care about your product, how they can, you know what I'm saying, maximize the, uh, the wear of your product. You know what I'm saying, just like we appreciate you. Also, my website, with another QR code. I'm trying to get people to my website. Then on top of that as well, I made sure I had flyers for the raffle. So if someone came to my table and they didn't buy anything, I'm still giving them one of these. I want them to have something of my strategy in their hands when they go home, walking around. I need this, I need it in their hands, you know what I'm saying? But I also put some in the bag, so if they bought something from me, I slide that in there just, hey, by the way, you know what I'm saying? You get a chance to win three hoodies, twenty dollars you win three hoodies bro you know what i'm saying shop with me you know what i'm saying enter to win still getting that email you know what i mean so um those are a few of the the key things i'm trying to think if i missed anything um i didn't want to make this video too too long but make sure it, it's appealing to the eye like your booth but more important than that make sure that you represent what you want your brand to be like you know what i'm saying my astrology encompasses healthy mindsets and mental health. So if someone comes up, I'm talking about that. My spirits is high. Like I'm trying to actually learn and see some of the things that they've been through. And not just because I'm trying to sell them something. Truly, I can learn some stuff from people as well. You know what I'm saying? Everything's not always about a sale. Sometimes it's building that relationship with people and then you get to sell later on down the road. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, um, I'm checking out. Um, but make sure, you know what I'm saying? Some of those key things, like you put something in their hands regardless, even if it's like a bracelet or something. Put something with your brand on it in their hands so they can start familiarizing themselves with it. Um, make sure when they buy, you, you can package it up well to extend to them. Oh, boom, I almost forgot. So, some people use like for credit cards, debit cards, stuff like that. Some people use like the, the credit card swiper and stuff like that, but I really wanted to bring people to my website. So I use Wix. Um, on the app on my phone, I can create pay links. So with that being said, say someone's like, yeah, I got a, a credit card. A lot of times the credit cards are already linked to their phone. Like, hey, all right, cool, let me grab your number. Do do type it in, make a link for them, send it to them real quick. This is like a you know one minute process. They can fill it out, all that, get their email, they send it right back to you. It'll, it'll pop up on your app, you're good to go. And then of course you got Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, stuff like that. So. You got any more questions, holler at me. I've done helped a few people out. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to enter into that raffle and get a chance to win three hoodies out of five. You know what I'm saying? That's a great deal. You know what I mean? But like I say, any questions, you want links to anything that I bought, holler at me. 
I appreciate the love. I appreciate y'all. And we're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep growing up. Let's get it. Man, listen, before I sign out, too, I want to make this very important because, you know, we get so caught up in being like, man, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, make my bread, whatever. Shop with other vendors, too, because you can build great relationships with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do, like, think about it like this, too. I do my own pop-up shop at the end of the year called My Australia Day, too. I need vendors, but I want vendors to believe in me as well. Make sure you shop with them. Shout out to Charm Fashion. Fire ass hat. I'm going to grab that uh, that bomber jacket from, from uh, my bro, too. But y'all go shop with them as well. Um, I don't even remember everything I get, but I spent, you know what I'm saying, at least a hundred dollars this weekend, just shopping with other vendors. You know what I'm saying, showing them love as well. Even if they didn't shop with me, I still got their card, I got their information. You know what I'm saying? Who knows where it might lead? You know what I'm saying? Build your network not only with your customers but with other vendors as well, because they might be able to plug you with extra business. You know what I mean? So I just want to throw that in there. Sure.